Now, first up, because I'm sure we'll get lots of comments, we have nothing against foxes. We like foxes. They're excellent creatures and a vital part of the ecosystems here. And they're just doing what they're supposed to do. They're trying to get by, same as everybody else, and trying to feed their children. The problem is, every so often one of them eats our poultry and rabbits. And we have a duty of care to our hens and geese and ducks and rabbits. It's our job to keep them safe. And most of the time, we're successful, but not always. So I'd like to catch the fox that's doing all the harm, the one that's so determined. We suspect it's an old and wise one who knows his way around our place and can get past our dogs and all the fences. I made a fox trap before, but the problem with that one, and with all the other live trap designs I've come across, is that it needed baiting. And that means hanging a dead hen in there, or some cat food, or some sheep bones, or something. But a fox has a large territory, and it might be weeks before he's back around inspecting our fences and sniffing around the trap. So, of course, in the meantime, the bait has been eaten by flies, or cats, or rats, or badgers, or something. And there's nothing to attract him into the trap. Also, the old trap had a trigger mechanism which worked fine when you first set it, but it was hard to keep it perfectly primed over weeks or months of weather and, and plants growing up through it and rust forming and everything. So, this is the new design, which gets around those two problems. First, the trap has a floppy one-way door with no trigger mechanism, the fox will push its way through the doorway, past the loose plank, we hope, but it won't be able to um, open it from the inside because the door frame gets in the way. And the second challenge, the bait part, is where I think we might win in the long run. My first plan was to build the trap into the old hen house, but that hen house is not up against the fence, so it wouldn't work. Moment. And it was too difficult to move, so I built a new hen house, and it's sitting right over the top of the trap. And the hens should be perfectly safe inside, but the idea is that the fox will try to get at them through the trap. Could be this week, or in a few months, but the trap should be ready for action at any time. That's good. Thank you. Okay, so you be the fox then. Yes. Oh, look, there's hens in there. Yummy. Alrighty, I'll go in. Oh, t I actually don't fit. <laughs> I have to do the no, whole thing. No, because you're not actually a fox. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> anyway. But I'm if you were a fox, you would squeeze through that little hole. Through that hole. Then the door would flap down again. Yay. And we hope you won't be able to get past it. We shall see. The poultry have a fantastic run here, under the fruit bushes and the trees and scrabbling in the bank. Once these new ones have settled in, they'll be free to roam every day and every night they'll be shut in, snug and safe, but attractive to foxes just by being there. So, there we are, that's the trap. What do you think? Will it work? Feel free to write in the comments below, but I will answer some of the obvious questions at the top, so check that bit out first, okay? <laughs>